music surrounds us. Even if you're not someone who likes to listen to music, it's on at the grocery store, it's on TV, it's, it's around us all the time. Your phone rings, a musical tone, and yet we study it as if it's an extra thing to study on the side if you happen to be talented in that direction. But it actually is part of all of us, and it's one more thing. The more we know about ourselves, the more we can grow. So for these kids who are exploring that, again, they would tell you themselves how much music matters to them. My name is Trina Purcell, and I am the choral director at Ketchikan High School, and I've been teaching here since 2006, so that's 12 or 13 years. I've taught math and choir and piano and music theory. Right now I just have the choirs. I was born in Ketchikan, um, and I started playing piano when I was five years old, started taking piano lessons, and was pretty good at it and kept doing it. And so I was always involved in music all the way through school. Um, when I was in junior high and high school, I was accompanying the high school choirs and the college choirs, and so it was kind of always what I was doing. And then I uh, went to college, um, got my degree in music education, and then went to Italy and lived there for six years. And then uh, the choir director here, who was my choir director in high school. He retired and that was about the right time for me. I was 30 years old, so I came back here and started teaching. One of the great things about being involved in music, especially about being involved in a choir, is, well, there've been lots of studies lately about uh, how more parts of the brain are involved in doing music than in any other activity. And then singing in a choir, singing, or even if it's not a formal choir, singing with other people, um, develops empathy. They've done studies where even um, your heartbeats begin to sync up together when you're singing together. Um, and it's something that uh, you can go and be a, a soloist and, and work on your own singing voice on your own, but it's singing together as a group and building a sound together is completely different. And any of those kids will tell you that. And we talk about it a lot in here too. You might feel like one of only 50 kids, but if you're gone, that affects everybody around you. And we talk about it as far as um, emotional and mental state too. When, when they come in that door, if they bring in the baggage from earlier in the day, that's gonna affect how they sing and it affects everyone around them. So we try and leave the baggage at the door, come in, have this moment together. And, um, and yeah, I think most of them would tell you that it's, well also they come in and, and develop relationships in here too. And half of them end up eating lunch in here and it becomes kind of a niche for them as well. So. Um, it's an activity like any other sport or club, keeps them involved in school and for a lot of them it's the reason they come to school, but it's also different from any other sport or club. We have a regional music fest which we, we are hosting this year. It travels between here and Juneau and Sitka and it brings in all of the band and choir kids from all of the southeast communities, so six or seven hundred kids together for three days and they do workshops and performances and listen to each other. They love it. They get to hear what everybody else is doing. They get to learn from guest adjudicators from out of town. So that's one of the outside things. We have honor bands and honor choirs where they can audition and be selected to go rehearse for a couple days and perform with other kids at a higher level. Um, the choir um, I get phone calls and emails to go sing Christmas carols for certain events or um, if there are certain functions happening at the Civic Center, conventions and things like that, we'll go sing the Star Spangled Banner to open things up or various, various different performances in the community too. The Community Service Awards we love because it gives us a chance to we, are all, we always need fundraisers, obviously, um, but I would so much rather involve the kids in doing something that fills a need for someone else than going out and selling something that people don't actually need. Um, and the kids love it, too. And I'm always really proud of them when we, we go out and get involved and they sign up and they're there for the day and they put everything into it and they have a blast doing it. And then we talk about afterwards that you, know, you really did benefit someone else by what you did, too. It's not just for us. So. That has been a great benefit to us. Community, for me, obviously in the case of First Bank, this is a, a local bank helping us do what we need to do while we help someone else, which is really beautiful. I mean, I don't know if 
maybe this happens all over the country, I don't know, I live here. But it really does, it gets our kids out involved in something else in the community and supported by First Bank, which is really um, nice. And it fits in with the vision of what we do.